Let's install Active Directory Domain Services in Windows Server 2008 R2. So in this video, install Active Directory Domain Services in Windows Server 2008 R2. So we go through the preparation steps or the necessary requirement before we will add the ADDS role. We will now proceed to add the ADDS role using server manager we will then promote the domain controller and after the installation and after the promotion process we will verify if we have successfully installed the active directory domain services in our windows server part of the preparation before adding the adds role in the windows server are the following so you have the domain name functional level and dsrm password so for domain name so you have to know what the domain name to use in your company so for example is it inquirinity.local or inquirinity.internal the functional level of a domain or forest depends on which windows server operating system versions are running on the domain controllers in that domain or forest so you have to do or perform a research prior to installing a domain controller in your environment so you have to check whether there are already domain controllers in the forest and check what are their functional levels so if there is no domain controller so meaning to say if this is a new installation in a new forest then you would not have to think of the functional level because you could choose the highest functional level available within your operating system in addition the functional level also controls which advanced features are available in the domain or forest you also need to decide and record your dsrm passwords or the directory service restore mode password you will need this password in case in the future you need to perform recovery and maintenance of your active directory so for our demonstration so i make use of a virtual machine on our oracle vm virtual box software so i have here a windows server 2008 r2 standard so using the initial configuration task or the out of the box experience you could go to your system properties by clicking the provide computer name and domain so you have to rename it to the appropriate naming for example this is a file server this is domain controller dc01 or fs01 so for this example or for this demonstration i will name it as server next is you need to configure the networking properties or settings for this particular server so you could also use the initial configuration task and you have the configure networking wherein you can click it will open the control panel applet the network connections you can right click and go to properties and go to the tcp ipv4 properties and set the static ip parameters for this particular server so for this demonstration i have the ip address 192.168.1.10 with a subnet mass of 255.255.255.0 255 we have a fictitious gateway 192.168.1.1 and we have the preferred DNS server as the local host or the DNS server is telling us that this is also a DNS server in the future. So 12700.1 is telling you are also your DNS server. Other things that you could do or configure before installing or adding the active directory domain services role is you will configure the correct time and time zone for the server so depends on your location or your current time please do some changes here
You could also perform some updates and other checks on your Windows server. For example, the device manager, if all the required drivers are present. And after that, if you feel or if you see that all of those things are already in place or already updated, then you could perform the installation or adding the server roles. Okay, so we can now proceed to add the Active Directory domain services role. So we will make use of the server manager window or tool to perform the adding of roles. So you could launch it via here that is beside the start server manager. So once you click it, it will appear as this one. So you will go to the roles and expand the roles portion. So as you can see, this is a fresh or new Windows server because there are no roles installed. So zero out of 17 possible roles for this server. So we'll click on the add roles and we will select the Active Directory domain services. Let's click add roles. So you could read the prerequisites of uh, Windows Active Directory domain services. So before you could proceed or you would continue with the adding of the role. So once you read it properly and you have determined that you have already done so, then click next. So there are 17 roles that you could add to this server. So for our demonstration today, we will add the Active Directory domain services. So we will click Next to proceed with the installation. So you have also another reading to do and things to note before you will proceed to the installation of the Active Directory domain services. So let's assume that we have read and we know what we are doing. So we will click Next. And from here, you will be given an idea or a hint that after you install the ADDS role or the Active Directory Domain Services role, you need to install or run the Active Directory Domain Services Installation Wizard or DC Promo in order to make this server a fully functional domain controller. So let's click install. So it will perform the installation of adding the role services or features that are necessary for the Active Directory domain services. So let's wait. Okay. So the installation is succeeded and you will see that you need to click on this one or run the DC promo to continue with the installation or to make this a fully functional domain controller. So you could close this one and remember to run the DC promo.exe here. So DC promo.exe here or simply click this blue one, which will also launch the Active Directory Domain Services Installation Wizard, and we will continue with the installation. So let's click this instead of typing the dcpromo.exe command. So we'll click on this one, and it will launch the Welcome to the Active Directory Domain Services Installation. So if you are an advanced user or you know more about Active Directory installation, so you could check this one, use advanced mode installation. But let's assume we are new with the Active Directory installation. So we will not check this one and we'll click next. So you have some operating system compatibility readings or if you want to read more about this, you have, will visit the knowledge base article of the Microsoft website. So let's assume we have already read and we have understand properly what is this about. Let's click next. 
So we will assume that this is the first domain controller in a new forest, or we don't have any forest, or we don't have any domain. So therefore, the option existing forest is not applicable to us. So the applicable one is to create a new domain in a new forest. So let's assume this is the very first domain controller in a new domain in a new forest. So let's click next. So the fully qualified domain name. So this is what we prepared already. So we need to decide what is our domain name. So in my case, I will use inquirinity.local for our demonstration. So click next. So it will check if the name is being used in the forest, but granted that we are the only one or the only domain in the forest, so it is accepted. Next, you need to choose the forest functional level. So again, if it's an existing forest and you determine that there are domain controllers already in that particular forest, then you need to know what is the forest functional level as well as the domain functional level. So here you will have some idea what are the features being tied to this particular functional level. So you have some options here. You could use the 2008 R2, you have the 2008, okay? So for us, we don't have any domain in the forest, so we could use or we could select the highest forest functional level. We click next to proceed with our installation. So it is examining the DNS information. So part of the installation is we could also add the DNS server role. So since this is the first domain controller and we don't have any DNS server in this particular domain, so we could check this one. You'll also notice that the global catalog is checked already. So if this is the first domain controller in a forest, you must have a global catalog server. So we click next to continue. So let's say we will just proceed to our installation. So do you want to continue? We will just click yes. So this is the default location where in our database, the log file and the sysvol folder will be located. So you have to take note on these locations. So we click next to continue. So this is now the directory services restore mode administrator password. So we need to supply a password. So this is one of our preparation steps or prerequisites that we have to also determine our DSRM password and we need to remember this password so we'll take note of this password because we need it in the future in case we need to perform some recovery or maintenance with our active directory domain services so if the passwords are typed correctly so click next. So this is now your summary for your Active Directory domain services installation. So you could review. And if there are any issues with your selections, you could always press to go back and perform the modifications or corrections. Otherwise, if all are in place and are correct, then we will click next to our installation wizard to proceed and complete the installation. So I just fast forward the installation process and we now arrive in the completing the active directory domain services installation. So we'll just click finish and this will now require a restart. So we'll click the restart now and see if the domain services is installed. So right now it's verification time if the Active Directory domain services is successfully installed. So we will log in to our server. So one verification is you will now have the domain name. So inquirinity. 
Okay, so it will not display the inquirinity that local. So this is sufficient inquirinity. So that is one of the verification that you are now in the domain. So we will log in and we will check more on the things that are added to our Windows Server. Next verification is if we open the Server Manager window. So you'll see that under the full computer name, it is now appended with the domain name. So server.inquirinity.local and you will see that the domain is inquirinity.local. Next, we could verify if we now have the Active Directory consoles. So we could go to Start, Administrative Tools, and you will see that you now have those Active Directory consoles. So you have the Active Directory Administrative Center, Active Directory Domains and Trusts, Active Directory Module for Windows PowerShell, Active Directory Sites and Services, Active Directory Users and Computers, and you have for the schema. So we now have the Active Directory consoles in place. Then finally, we go to the Active Directory Users and Computers to determine if the domain controller being this server is reflected on this console. So we go to Active Directory Users and Computers. We go and expand the domain in Query.local. We go to the domain controllers and take note, domain controllers is a built-in container wherein it will list all the domain controllers for this particular domain. So now we have the server as listed as the domain controller and we have also the GC global catalog type. So in this video, install Active Directory domain services in Windows Server 2008 R2. So we go through the preparation steps before we will add the Active Directory domain services role. So we mention or we discuss about the computer name. We discuss about the configuration of the network settings as well as other settings such as time and time zone and other important Windows security updates. After we have performed the necessary preparation steps, so we then proceeded to add the Active Directory domain services role using the server manager. After the Active Directory domain services role was added, so we then proceeded with the installation wizard or the DC promo and continue with the necessary installation requirements such as providing the fully qualified domain name. We also provide the DSRM password. We have checked the DNS server, the global catalog server was already checked and we have also take note of the default database and log files and Sysvol locations in our computer. From there, the ADDS role is installed and we are asked to perform a reboot on our server. After the reboot, we perform some quick verifications that are necessary to make sure if our server was indeed installed with the Active Directory domain services. So we saw that upon the server login, there is already the domain name. And after we log in, we also check on the computer name and it was appended with the domain name. So in our demonstration, it was in Quirinity.local. After that, we also check under the administrative tools if the Active Directory consoles were present. And finally, we go in to the Active Directory Users and Computers Console and we take a look at the domain controller built-in container if indeed our server was there. So we also see that the server was indeed in the list. So I hope you find this video in installing Active Directory domain services in Windows Server helpful.